Good morning. It might be a bit gloomy and overcast today, but it's still a wonderful day. I woke up. I'm alive and I'm healthy. Um, I have a roof over my head. I have money in my bank account. I have things to look forward to. Um, I did a lot of cooking the last couple of days despite the heat. So I have several days of meals prepared. So I have, you know, food to eat, the roof, money in the bank account, vehicle in the driveway with gas in it, and it's functional and running. I have air conditioning. Do you know how many people in the whole world don't even have air conditioning or a fan? I have both. I'm a very fortunate person. So I'm really happy today because I'm going to have a nice visit with one of my siblings today that I haven't seen in a while because of the pandemic. So I'm really happy and excited about that. And um, I was really looking forward to it. And um, I don't want to let anything negative rob my joy. Um, but I do have something, and I did the old-fashioned notes um, that I wanted to talk about. And so anyway, i got to get my reading glasses and put them on. And once again, sorry for the lighting, but um, there's two lamps ahead of me. There's no overhead lighting in this room of the house. Um, and it is overcast today. So... I made a little old-fashioned crib list. Okay. Um, I basically um, had an inactive YouTube account that I started over 11 years ago. 11 years. Mm -hmm. Things were very different back then. It was a lot more about content, about um, demonstrations, show and tell, filming, showing things. There was very little selling and affiliate codes. There was no, uh, very little gossip and drama, whatever. So, anyway, yeah, YouTube in 2010 was very, very different, as was I, okay? So, anyway, I started up after, like, about a two-year absence, maybe. I started up a, another channel because I, I don't know the password. I tried to contact, um, you know, Google and YouTube, and I guess because of the pandemic, I kept getting, like, a... Um, pre-recorded, uh, not pre-recorded, pre-written email. So, you know, it was just easy to start from scratch. So anyway, pet peeves. And this is whether you're online or offline. Number one pet peeve is liars. You know, if you can't tell the truth, keep your mouth shut. It's one thing if you say your opinion, but when you try to pass your opinion off as truth without hard evidence, to me, it's a lie, and I'm just indifferent to it. Doesn't bother me, like I've said several times. You're not in my living room. You're not in my bank account. You're not in my vehicle. You're not in my front yard, backyard, side yard. You're not on the other property or the property somewhere else. So I'm indifferent to you. Okay. Um, I have something to say about drinking. That's up to each person. I've known people that drank a lot, that were the most kind, wonderful people, the most giving hearts, no judgment. I've known people that drank and went and drove when they were impaired and injured other people and themselves. That's a no-no. If you're going to use any kind of thing that impairs you, you need to not drive. You need to not affect your family, your, your neighbors, your friends, even strangers. You just need to be in a safe place. It's none of my business. If you want to engage in certain behaviors, it really is none of my business. The same holds for drugs. I don't want to participate in it, but I can't judge. I can't judge other people. It's really none of my business. Um, what other things I've heard that were toxic and negative since I've been back, this talk about child neglect, pedophilia, CPS. Again, I am not an employee of any state or county or federal jurisdiction. Therefore, it's really none of my business. Um, if I saw hard evidence, obviously I would avoid that person, you know. And, and I have very few really personal interactions with anyone on the Internet. So it doesn't affect me. If you're someone that's been a victim of that, 
you really sincerely have my um, condolences because children are innocent and they can't, they don't have the wherewithal to, um, to represent themselves, you know, as an adult. Um, infidelity. Once again, it's none of my business. What people do behind closed doors, it's none of my business. If it doesn't involve me, my bank account, my living room, the car, the front yard, the back right, backyard, the side yard, it's really none of my business. Um, okay, I've seen homosexual and transgender bashing. Everyone's entitled to their opinion, but maybe keep it to yourself. We're all human beings. I, I don't know. I'm not the police of people's genitals. I'm really not. And it's really none of my business. Racism. We were all born the same way. We were all created, whether you believe in God or not, or what religion, we were all created by the same creator. And I happen to have certain DNA from my parents, and someone else has DNA from their parents. Who am I to dislike someone based on their DNA? That's really very ignorant, in my opinion. Um, another thing is mocking developmental delays. You can dislike a behavior associated specifically with a specific person. I get that. If they're invading your boundaries, like I said before, try to talk to them. If that doesn't work, ignore or block. But to keep going on and on and kind of volleying that ball back and forth, back and forth, it's just like a hamster running on a wheel. You're going to get nowhere. And, and I say this with no disrespect to anyone. Okay, um, things with criminals. Well, if you broke the law, you broke the law. And hopefully you pay your debt to society. I can't judge. I can't judge. There's someone on here that I like very much. He's very honest. He's got a good heart. And he told me pretty much from the beginning that he had a little history and he told me why and whatever. I trust this man. If I had a baby, I would trust my baby with him. And I hope you know who you are. I trust you. You're a good person with a good heart. And I love chatting with you. Um, you're a lot of fun. And I don't think you judge. I don't think you judge. And I think you're very, um, you know, you let, you know, that old saying, water off a duck's back. And I really admire that in you. Now, all right. Wife beaters and people that abuse a spouse, whether it's male or female, well, I, I'm sorry, I, that that's unacceptable, but I'm not God. I can't judge that. I would just avoid that situation, you know, and I wish well to anyone who's been a victim of abuse. It really is sad for someone to live that way. Um, crimes that involve the elderly. Because I put them in the same category as um, the developmentally delayed or the mentally ill. There's something called elder abuse. And obviously, I don't endorse that. Doxing and swatting, it's now illegal. I don't know if people privately dox. They like to gossip. I've done it. And uh, not docs or swap, but like gossip or, oh, I saw a picture of this person or whatever. I don't want to be a hypocrite. Yeah, when you don't like someone and someone's got some dirt on them, you might want to look at it. But if you start passing it around, passing it around, giving away their identity, where they live, blah, blah, blah. To me, that's distasteful. It's one thing um, I admit I've passed a picture or two, at least two, privately to people that I trusted. That's it. I'm not going any further than that. Um, discussions about child support. That's between the parents, the child, and the court. It's one thing if you support a person and you try to help them, but anything beyond that, you really got to wash your hands of it because we're not in control of the world. We're not. And it's sad. It really is sad. It's a sad world. And, um, you know, it's very nice of people that are so kind-hearted that they stick their neck out and try to help. But if it backfires, you know, all you can say is you did your best, you tried to help, and just turn it over to God or your higher power or whatever, and don't let it make you bitter.
And that's easy for me to say, but trust me, I've been in situations that I won't share about, so I do understand. Um, sock puppets and catfish. If someone wants to come online and be anonymous because they have a spouse, they have a social position, a job, for whatever reason, if they're not using that appearance or fake identity, oh God, my nose is sweating. If they're not doing it to solicit money or attention from the opposite sex, and they're just um, photoshopping or using a cartoon, who am I to judge? But if you're doing that, be very careful about mocking another person's appearance. I admit that I fat shamed Elvis, and I've probably done a few things or said a few things that I said I don't like. But I really try to keep myself in check and not do it too much. Okay, I think I have a few more things on this list. Uh, okay, um, I had mentioned mental illness. No one chooses to be bipolar or have borderline personality disorder. Um, no one chooses to be a full-blown narcissist. You can control some individual behaviors. You can take your meds. You can go to therapy. You can maybe limit what you participate in up to your level of functioning. And, um, okay, masks would come under the category of the doxing and the photoshopping. I don't care. Somebody has a mask. I don't care. I, it doesn't bother me. If you um, cam up and you look like your avatar, you're honest, more honest than like 80% of the people on here. In my opinion, I mean, I don't know, just what I've seen. So I don't think that it's an issue. It's more of the behavior. And, um, you know, I'm not perfect. And I don't, you know, expect everyone else to be. But there's a certain level of dysfunction that once you go over that line, it turns me off. And I'm disinterested. I'm not emotionally involved. You're not in my living room. You're not in my bank account. I keep saying this. And, um, you know, sorry. So keep spinning your wheels, everybody. It's really not my business. And I have my own wheels to spin. I have my own lovely day with a beloved sibling. We're going to have a wonderful day together and go out for lunch, regardless of the weather. Things are opened up near the area where I'm currently staying. I have been bouncing around between three states, um, and I've dropped hints about all, but I'm not telling anybody because there's just too many strangers on the internet. So anyway, everybody have a great day. I'm sorry I'm on my soapbox. Um, I, you know, it's just like if you want to try to needle someone, you're going to be disappointed with me. So I think maybe you should go somewhere else. You know, stay in your own little community of drama. I'm not on here for drama. I'm on here for myself, for my interests, and to have a little fun, but nothing beyond that. It's just not worth my time or energy. So anyway, everyone, have a great day. Bye.